Hi. What's up? What's Gucci in the hood? How's it hang? Ugh. This is horrific. <laughs> if you're the kind of person who gets easily annoyed by like things, you probably shouldn't watch this video. <laughs> It was my birthday like, I don't know, four days ago or something, and it was pretty lit. Not gonna lie, which is probably why I sound like this right now. There's literally no other explanation for it. I feel like I'm gonna die. Do I need to elaborate anymore? <laughs> I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> So if you haven't been here on my ch uh, so if you haven't been here on my channel before, I'm Kira. I'm definitely not a beauty guru. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Or d you know you're probably not going to. I haven't given off the best first impression. Like this video if you liked this video, or don't if you didn't. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get into it. I can't. I won't shut up about it. But it was my birthday a few days ago. I'm really self obsessed, so I kind of really like it when it's my birthday. I don't know. So I thought I'd share with you in this video what I got for my birthday. Birthday. I'm a big girl now. I am no longer 14 and this is no longer my career. I finally turned seven years old. 17. Ouch. I don't like that. Does anyone else find it weird that now I can legally drive and in a year I am legally responsible for myself? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Who made that rule? You know, people develop at different times. Some people mature very early. Like, some people get to 14, they've had every breed of penis inside of them, and then there's me. Ugh. Like, my physical appearance. It's not that bad. However, I lack heavily in social skills. Boys, they like me. But then I open my mouth and start talking. They're gone. I don't know how to handle money. I don't know what taxes are. I don't even think I've ever sat in the driving seat of a car i can get drunk off one bottle of something that is four percent alcohol and is basically just juice i am not prepared to enter the adult world and here i am less than a year off 18 what the hell i don't know maybe 17 will be the year i get rich or something like that because there isn't much else going for me uh, i'm getting existential <laughs> this isn't what you wanted to hear i'm gonna just get into the video by far the best kind of gift i got for my birthday was from my three friends i'll put their face is here. Jordan Houston, Millie T and Morgs of the channel Morgs. They booked a place in London really special that kind of had some sort of meaning to it and it's like oh and it's like quite an expensive place so it was like for two nights we had like a little mini party. That was really great. I prefer like experiences and stuff over material items. I'd rather be able to like fake the fact that I have friends to social media than like get a new bag and like flex it you know what I mean. I don't know what can I say I'm just humble because I was gonna like book a night at that place anyway for my birthday to have a party but like further on because basically long story <laughs> you don't care about the long story do you so i lost my card you know the thing you used to pay for things i lost it for a really long time and basically i was too nervous to like call up and ask for a new one i was too nervous to be like to my mom hey i lost my card because i lost one and i left it in canada along with like 700 dollars in cash um a couple of months back she wasn't very impressed with me but yeah i just don't like general disappointment or talking to people on the phone because i'm kind of nervous whoa she had an out of body moment that was weird <laughs> finally got around to ordering me a new card and i was like great i'm going places in the world i've been relying on apple pay for about 10 years you know how when you order a new card they put it in a letter they post it through your door my dog i guess he was hungry that day he took the letter with my new card in and he he ate it. <laughs> so I had to call up my bank again. I didn't want to do this and I had to have the very awkward, yeah. So basically, you sent me a new card, my dog ate it, can I have another one? They were really weird about it. It was really embarrassing to say, yeah, no, I haven't even activated the card yet. You have to like take it into a bank and like activate it, I don't know. Why am I telling you a story time? You literally don't care. I was gonna like book that place like a week after um, because I didn't have a card at the time. You need a card to like book a hotel. I can't be like, hey, can I use my Apple Pay to like book a hotel like 600 pounds a night? Like, thanks. <laughs> but they did it anyway for me, I guess. That was great. I have a new card now though. I haven't activated it. Moving on. On my actual birthday, my mother, I guess I'll start with her. So my mom was just kind of like, yo, just give me a list of things that you kind of want. Because I'm the kind of person, I need a lot of stuff. Like I have a lot of stuff in my Amazon basket. But for some reason, I never just get around to like purchasing things. I don't know. I'm a mess. And for literally years,
years, it's been a tradition for her to buy me one of those big lush boxes full of bath bombs and whatever. You know, I'm a child. I like to watch things bubble. She got me this one. It was a Christmas one because apparently all the other ones are sold out. But that's fine. I like Christmas. It's the second most important holiday of the year because it's the second closest one to my birthday next to Halloween, which is the first most important one because it's the first closest to my birthday. I love myself. Let me do a sniff test. Wow. Oh my gosh, they swatch it. That's great. I'm going to get a rash later. Yeah. Wow, smells good. I'm going to insert some live footage here of them being used in action. Look, here's some live footage. Wow. How crazy. Um, okay, episode 69 of Kira doesn't know how to beauty, let it commence. Great swatches, Kira. Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> she also got me this dildo, I mean, <laughs> as Nesta. She also got me this hair curler. It's a Tresemme used by professionals, expert selection, perfectly, brackets, undone hair curler. She got me that essentially because she always tells me how ugly my hair is. <laughs> and then she got me probably one of my favourite perfumes ever, which is kind of weird because I have literally no interest in Nicki Minaj, but one day I smelled this perfume and I was like, boy, I need that. I have it and then I used it all. But now I have it again. Again, which is great. I can use this instead of showering. Great. Then she got me another. Uh, <laughs> and then she got me another perfume, and it's Guilty by Gucci. Eau de Toilette. Oh my god, look how much I've used already, and I've had it for like four days. <laughs> she got me this because she asked me like, what I needed, and I was like, I kind of need some new perfume. I'm running out. And she asked me what one I liked, and I said I really liked Gucci Bloom, which is like the new one. And I remember being, I was just like in the Gucci store one day, like in London, being a baller, you know what I mean? And I was just like looking around, browsing, and I smelled this perfume while I was waiting for like, you know, checkout, whatever. And like, by the checkout counter, there's like the perfume stuff. And I was just like sniffing it while I was waiting, you know, being a baller. I was like, boy, I need that. I need to smell like a baller. I need to smell like I'm high off the AdSense dollar. They never have it at Selfridges. They never have it at like Harrods. They just don't have it anywhere that I go. And to get into the actual Gucci store in London is a little bit of a process because a lot of the time you have to like line up outside and prove to them you're rich. And most of the time I'm like not wearing anything particularly like fancy when I'm in London. I'll wear my dirty Adidas shoes. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> you know, so I don't tend to go in there much because I don't ever really feel like being judged. <laughs> it's not what's on the outside that counts. It's what's in here that counts. So not much. <laughs> That was an unnecessary story. So the big box she got me from Lush pretty much just has bath bombs in it. She knows I like, you know, creams and stuff and I do love a good moisturiser because I'm dry and crusty. So she felt kind of like bad about that and got some like other stuff. I never really buy myself like beauty feminine stuff so I just rely on other people to get it for me. So I guess I'm going to do some swatching. She got me this stick with buttholes on them. I, I mean, I think they're flowers. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to it. Um, not really sure what that smells like. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you just like dip this in your bath and it makes bubbles or something. I don't know. I, I don't know how science works. I'm probably dropping out soon. She got me this Asian dragon thing. I don't know. Is this racist? Cultural appropriation in a bath bomb. Yeah, it smells of Asia. I don't know what Asia smells like. I've never been there. No one wants me there. Someone invite me to Asia. Asia, sponsor me. I don't know what I'm doing. And then she got me this one. It's on a stick and it's a star. And it smells nice. It smells of... It smells nice, which is probably why I can't describe it because it's nothing like I've ever smelt before. Oh, it's got glitter on it. That's fun. Who has a bell? So easily entertained. Why am I five? And then she got me a pot of lotion. That's always in handy. And then she just got me some other stuff, like some general like makeup stuff. She tells me quite a lot how ugly I am, and I'm not even joking. Um, next up, a relative got me a box of chocolates. And usually people would be like, oh, a box of chocolates, okay. But I was like, boy, these are my favourite chocolates in the whole world. I was so impressed with this. And, you know, I'd show you them, but I kind of ate them all, so whatever. <laughs> I rate them 10 out of 10. Best gift I got. Kind of had to pull these out of the wash. Kind of disgusting. Contemplating whether I should show my dirty clothes on camera, but hey, I have no shame. Okay, where do I start? So these, the next things I'm going to show you are some gifts I kind of bought myself, which wasn't that different because I kind of buy myself gifts every day. Like, oh, Kira, that's a gift for waking up this morning for not ending 
seeing it all. <laughs> and I got myself some pre average underwear. I got myself a Calvin Klein bra. Notice how it's small. Yeah, it's because I have no boobs. It's nice, I guess. It's blue. I got matching thong to it, but I'm not gonna show you that. I mean, I would show you it. I have no shame, literally. It's just that it's not in a convenient space reachability to me right now. <laughs> so I'm not modest, I'm just lazy. <laughs> a second gift to me from me is a top. It's literally just from Topshop. It's like not even a big deal. I posted a picture on Instagram of it. You can look at that here. You can follow me too, that would be great. Happy birthday, Kira. I was just walking through Selfridges and I saw it and I thought, I need that. Every top I own is literally the same it's just black and slutty but it's fine you know just average whatever and then got this dress from urban outfitters and it's probably one of the nicest dresses ever you know i love dresses i have this dress it's from guess it's like 400 pounds i bought it i wore it once i never wore it again that's why i don't buy expensive things because you get bored of them to be honest i didn't really buy anything else for myself like happy birthday kira from kira <laughs> moving on to my good pal hey guys it's minity she got me two things she got me this matte lipstick which is on my lips right now which is kind of nice and it, it was part of like little challenge thing we did where we both picked each other's outfits and stuff and like jordan and morgan got suits and like we got dresses she was like since it's your birthday like we need to go and buy makeup and she was like i know you're not really into makeup which i'm not so she was like i know you're not the kind of person who's like really gonna be like yeah i'll spend money on makeup and enjoy it so she was like it's your birthday i'll buy it for you and then she got me this it's sparkly and i have it on my eyeballs right now i beautified myself up so i thought if i'm gonna make a beauty guru video i better look like a beauty guru but better because for some reason none of them actually have good makeup i've met a few beauty gurus like actual full-on beauty gurus in person and seen their makeup and i was like bitch you look crusty look at this i'm just kidding i'm being real messy today i don't know the first thing about makeup and i think i just slayed all of you mm. yeah so that was it i think yeah i probably forgot something but like you know whatever i probably got myself a couple of more gifts from kira to kira um i can't really think of anything else to say so you should probably subscribe you should probably thumbs up this video this video a special shout out goes to this person to be the video a special shout out all you have to do is like buy my merch give me money or like comment something <laughs> whatever subscribe to the channel Ooh, i upload a lot because i have no life and goodbye has that been there the whole time oh no <laughs>